What's up YouTube, it's Barrymore with another video on Dungeon Hunter Champions. Now today I want to talk to you guys about which two champions I think you should be farming from the Bull Demon King to help your progression uh, in PvE as far as going all the way up to Elder Dragons 10. Now what I mean by farming is that each Bull Demon King has a chance to drop certain shards from, for certain monsters uh, depending on which Bull Demon King your dungeon you're farming. Now. Before we talk about the two that I think, let's talk about which champions drop in which one. And we'll go from top to bottom. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is Garai, the Water Basilisk. Now he drops from the Water uh, Bull Demon uh, Dungeon, as you can tell already, because he is a Water type. But he drops from there. I personally use him in my arena offense. Uh, I think he's amazing. I think his, his first skill is too good. Uh, he puts immunity on everybody, so as, as soon as the fight starts, he puts his immunity, I go in, do my business, and then that's that. Um, you don't have to get him. Uh, he's not one of my recommended monsters that you should farm early on in game. You might have, you might get him from a rare disc, you might get him from a common disc, but I wouldn't recommend farming him, as at least not right now, unless you really want to get him and you think he's going to be really good in your arena offense or even arena defense. Uh, the next champion, though, I do want to talk about, and I do recommend, it's one of my top two, is uh, Xenia, the Light Boon Sister. Now let's take a look at Xenia and why she's so good. I made a video the other day about why I think Xenia is amazing. But uh, we'll go over her. Her her skill is really really brief, and uh, we'll um, see why she's so good. Now on her first basic attack, her or sorry, her basic attack. Every fourth attack, she lowers defense on on the, the monster that's or the yeah on the monster that she's attacking. So it, it is a chance, but you know it's a it's a pretty high chance. I've actually tested it. And with high accuracy, that lower defense almost never comes off the boss. So on her skill two or first skill, Scourge, she removes three buffs off of each enemy that she hits with it. Now, when you're fighting the dragon, he gets an attack buff. It's, it's crucial that you remove that buff because he he, he does so much damage uh, on your on your team. Her second skill, Wave of Celerity, is a heal and it also lowers cooldowns on your on your on your team. So it and not only once but twice. So when it comes out. It heals and lowers cooldowns, and when it goes in, it heals, it heals and lowers cooldowns again. Now, on her third skill, Torrential Strike, it's just a stun, not too, not too big, but you know, when you're fighting the trash mobs, they the, the stun can actually help out, and then just keep them together to to DPS them down. Now, the next two champions that I want to talk about, I don't have any experience with because I haven't had a chance to build them because I'm I'm really focusing on PVE progression right now, and getting to Elder Dragons 10. I'm farming Elder Dragons 7 right now, but I know what team I want to use. And I'm trying to get them to six star as fast as I can. But the next one I, I want to talk about is Monument. Uh, like I said, no experience with him, but I will try to build one soon, guys, and then give you some insight on him, as well as Violet, which drops from the uh, Dark uh, Bull Demon King. She's um, no experience on her again as well, but like I said, I will bring a video on if they're good or not. Now the last one I want to talk about that is, I think is very important to have, and I think I. I think a lot of people can agree with me on this is Rhoda the the um, nature um, Valkyrie that drops from the nature bull demon king now the reason Rhoda is so good uh, is because of her running bolt twister and her tempest now her basic attack doesn't do anything else besides just a basic attack you know it's just a, a DPS move nothing big on there but her rending bolt lowers defense uh, on the boss so mo lower defense means more DPS on the boss and faster clear times Amazing already there. Um, her and Xenia have it. So this is why I say lower defense is always, almost always going to be on the boss because of them too. Now, Twister lowers attack. Um, lower attack is huge, guys. As you've maybe already seen, the dragon does a huge roar. It damages everybody in, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in his path, uh, which is pretty much your whole team. Um, and it does a huge amount of damage, if you, especially if your team has uh, defense break. Um, it's it's ridiculous amount of damage. So you want to make sure he has lower attack, which Rhoda brings that to the team. So that's amazing. Tempest raises attack speed and lower skill cooldowns. Faster attack means faster DPS, means faster clear times on top of the lower defense. Lower cooldowns means more attacks, more abilities, more uptime on buffs, more uptime on debuffs. Overall, great. And on top of that, Rhoda... Oh, sends into uh, a leader ability, which is um, decreases skill cooldown time of, of allied nature champions by 
you want to make sure you bring Nature Champions into Elder Dragon's 10 because he is a um, he is a water type uh, and Nature counters water. You don't want to bring any fire types. You can bring water types, don't get me wrong, but they will not benefit from her, her leader ability um, that she brings. But like I said, if you get a fire type, I mean, sorry, a water type and you want to use them, of course you can. I'm not going to stop you. Do it, uh, do it if you feel, if you will. Now, so that pretty much sums it up, guys. The two champions that I think are, are awesome and are must-haves. I have them in my team. I use them everywhere I go right now. Maybe later on, you'll be, they'll, be re they'll be replaced. But as of right now, they're too valuable to be replaced. So in conclusion, guys, if you have any comments or anything, anything you want to talk about, feel free to comment on the comment section. Um, make sure you like the video if you think it was informative. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around.